Meantime, tonight authorities in DeKalb County are searching for a group of thieves who they believe committed a string of burglaries early Monday morning. Investigators say a crew of thieves used a car to smash into a smoke shop in Avondale Estates. That's where we find Fox 5's Joy Dukes with the latest. Yeah, police say surveillance video captured the thieves ramming a stolen Kia Optima into the Hemp Haven smoke shop on College Avenue early Monday. The owner tells me it's a big loss to business, not because of what they took, but how much it'll cost to fix. <laughs> originally quoted like 26,000, but I've been able to get it down to about $10,000, but still that's a lot. I take a hit financially. A financial hit that stemmed from a physical hit Monday morning just after 4 a.m. It was a burglary. Um, some some young people got into my store. It was six to nine of them. Hemp Haven smoke shop owner Deanna Padron says she woke up to an alert that someone plowed their car into her business. There was a key uh, sitting inside my store with the headlights on, still um, running. Surveillance video from the shop shows at least six individuals in hoodies run inside. They came into the store, they scattered, they stole the cash register, and then they ran off. Avondale Estates Police tell Fox 5 the group left the scene in two other vehicles. Little did they know the register they took was empty. And this is a cashless facility. I mean, if you were a good burglar, you would notice that on our um, glass, we have we are a cashless facility. Though Padron says they didn't get away with much, she's now forced to foot the bill for thousands of dollars in repairs at a time when business hasn't been the best. Considering that we have construction that slows down the people coming into the store and also the economic downturn and the fact that the hemp laws have changed. This is just horrible what they did to us. Avenue Dale Estates Police say the same stolen Kia was involved in other burglaries Monday. They're working with DeKalb County Police on the case. Now, Padron says they were closed Tuesday due to rain, but will be back open Wednesday from 11 to 9, and she's hoping the community will support. If you have any information on this, give detectives a call. In DeKalb County, Joy Dukes, Fox 5 News.